And, and one of the things that you mentioned is yeah. one that bothers me the most, uh -huh. just because I've made, I've thought very hard about puzzle games, right? Yeah. Um, but one of the things you said is, um, you know, make people feel clever. I don't know how it started, but maybe maybe some developers like Valve, when they made Portal or yeah. something, said that. I don't know. But that phrase has been absorbed by everybody. Yes. So like gamers, when they write reviews, will say that. They'll say, oh, I really like this game. I solved puzzles, and it really made me feel smart. You know? Yeah. And I think that's really wrong. <laughs> OK. <laughs> It's really bad. I mean, it's fine. It's fine if your job is to sell people a game. Yeah. Because people want to feel smart. Mm -hmm. And if you help them feel smart, they yeah. will pay for that. Like they'll pay for any positive experience, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, just the act of making somebody feel smart might be good mm -hmm. on its own. Like, for example, somebody's very depressed, uh -huh. they have a hard life, and you make them feel smart for a little bit, and that just helps them get through, right? That's good. I have no problem with that. But usually that's not what this is, right? Usually it's just people are playing a game, they solve some puzzles, the puzzles aren't that hard, uh -huh. but they're designed to try and give you a little kick when you solve it. And yeah. um, I think that is very empty. I, I don't like it. It's like if you, if you play if you play a game uh, like Go against somebody yeah, sure. and they let you in and you feel smart, mm -hmm. is that good? It, yeah, maybe not. I personally would not be very happy with that, you yeah. know? Um, just, yeah, we just want to really win it. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm playing a game like that and studying it to be good, it's, you know, I want to be good at it. I want to win because I got better. And so it's the same with a puzzle game. If I play a puzzle game, I don't want to feel smart. I want to actually be smart. Yes. Right? Yes. And so if a game can help me actually be smart, that's actually very valuable. Mm -hmm. And that can make games something very new and very powerful. So, you know, if I'm playing a puzzle game and I solve a puzzle, what does it mean that I solved the puzzle? Well, mm -hmm. It's probably not that I entered some random code that would be a boring puzzle game, mm -hmm. right? Like hopefully it's like there's some system of the way things work and I figured out how things work and I was able to use my knowledge of how they work to do the right thing in this situation. And then the reason I feel good is because I noticed that I successfully understood the way things work. Our, our brains are made to notice that and respond positively, yeah. right? To the real thing. Yes. And so going back to the witness for a second, you know, the puzzles, it, it's harder to talk about the abstract puzzles with mm -hmm. the symbols and stuff, but mm -hmm. there are other puzzles in the game. I mean, even the symbols are about, you could say they're about logical phenomena, mm -hmm. but there are some puzzles that take place in the space of the world that are about natural things like light and, Shadows and you know the way light travels yeah. when it's coming from the Sun yeah. and how it might reflect off objects and things yes. like that The things that you observe in the game are they're pretty close to what happens in the real world in and real so world. you're you're um, You're doing something real there a little bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah, actually yeah, matter yeah. like actually what's true is any system that's consistent mm -hmm. that you can learn yeah. is really real knowledge of, of some kind yeah. It's just, it may or may not have that much to do with what happens in the world when you walk around. But, yeah. but it's just that learning the system and then doing the right thing is actually the important part. I like it when players feel smart, mm -hmm. but I like it when they feel smart because they really are smart. Yeah. Uh, and the last idea I want to talk about is this one. Um, I've heard this from a number of friends over the past year, including a friend here at the conference. He said, you know, it's so great when a game makes you feel smart you know, that's wonderful, and that's what we ought to be trying to do as game designers. I, I think that's a terrible idea. Um, because when you play a game, like a puzzle game, or an epiphany game, or whatever it is, right, the valuable thing, the most valuable thing, isn't the feeling of being smart. It's that you actually are smart for a moment, right? It's that you actually did something, and some new idea came into your head, and you have some new understanding that you can take forward into the future in a much less transient way than this very temporary feeling, right? And if we go into this, uh, with our goal as game designers to create the feeling of being smart or the feeling of being cool or whatever, then we'll end up making relatively shallow things, right? We'll end up making things 
that don't actually have the intellectual depth uh, that characterizes uh, you know, deep experiences and profound experiences, we're instead kind of pandering, right? So I think this attitude is a disease, and I'm trying to stay away from it 